Hey there, and welcome to Painting Marcus. This is another fast paint in four stages, including the priming, or three stages, not. And first up is going to be the underpainting, base coating, color generating phase. So that will be then followed by um, base coating slash painting, depending on how you view it. And then continuing on to highlights and finishing off. So again, this is kind of a fast paint process and it needs to be done quickly because I am on a strict time limit at the moment. So I shall get all of the basic colour blocked in in the underpainting stage and I will be back in a second. So here we have Marcus and he is... Uh, kind of lots of browns. I seem to be using lots of browns on all of the characters actually. So he has black boots. Uh, they will be black at the moment. They're just charcoal grey. I like to make everything charcoal grey first before knocking it back to black. Um, not quite sure what's going on with the wrist of his gloves. I'm can't. I think they're kind of jewels or. But I think I'm going to do them as small metal plates on his gloves rather than jewels as such. My. Marcus, he has not got jeweled, bejeweled gloves, although he might do in the future, and that's up to him. Uh, I think the bows come out, eh, yeah, okay, the top half's a bit rough, and that's because the material I made it out of, which is perhaps more for me, but I'm kind of in a rush. Again, you can see the sickle stuck on his belt, I think that's come out well, it doesn't matter, you can't see the handle. Uh, his coat will end up being like a reddish brown rather than the brown brown that it is and again over time everything will dissociate as I introduce more colour. Um, I've used heavy skin tone to undercoat the two skulls, the one on his belt and the one in his hand, uh, which is kind of ironic because I've used the sienna for the base tone for flesh, but I've actually used that on all of the characters I've been painting recently and that's just because it's good to have the dark tone to work up from rather than a lighter tone to knock back. Um, also, I didn't expect to be using quite so many browns, so it was a, an easy choice at the time. You may also notice that he has his sickle on the floor next to him. And that's because he uses spiritual weapon quite a lot, and I decided I really wanted the token, so I just made this out of a piece of plastic. And then, if it's attacking somebody, I can pick it up, I can just hook it onto the character it's attacking and that way I can keep track of who is being attacked with a spiritual weapon and where it is. I had thought about basing it, um, but to be honest with you it was going to be too fiddly and a bit of a nightmare and the bits of wire I've got are sort of the same kind of size as the, um, the handle on the sickle and so it would have ended up looking a bit silly I think. But as a token that can be just hooked onto whoever it's attacking at the time, I think that works just fine. I will um, just do some highlights and stuff on it to sort of clean it up and make it look a bit nicer than it is. It looks a bit messy still, but there you have it. Next up, he'll be toned down and ready for the next stage of painting after that, which will be, well, bring colour back into it. So, on to shading. Catch you in a second. So here we have Marcus, and he's all ready for the next phase. I've applied uh, brown inks to all of the wooden areas and le brown leather. Black inks to all of the black leather. And to any metal, so uh, like the... If I knew words. Sickle, that's what it is, on his belt. Um, his quiver has also had brown ink applied to it. I haven't touched the sort of ends of the scrolls sticking out of his uh, his script, his um, scroll carrying cases. Uh, his shields I've just left blue because that will actually end up going lighter than it is. I did apply um, brown ink, well, black ink into the eye sockets and then brown ink over the top of both the skulls that he's carrying. And also a chestnut ink onto uh, his clothes, all of his clothes. So over the orange, over the coat, over the trousers. Because he said that he sort of wears russet, orangey coloured clothing. And I might even have to knock back the colour on his um, waistcoat a lot more. Also you might notice on the ground next to him is his golden sickle. Uh, it's become golden. This is uh, his... Um, 
think it's his, what's it called? Spirit weapon. Spirit weapon, yeah. So it is actually um, a weapon he carries about his person, but I've, I've just made this as the token and I've applied a brown ink to the entirety of the sigil. Sorry about that, I uh, had to change my battery there and it just stopped recording on me, so I hope you have enjoyed this, that you found it useful and interesting. I hope that uh, you're painting all of the things that you want to be painting and doing an amazing job. And thank you for watching. Have a good one and take care. Bye bye.